The World Health Organization estimates that approximately 400 million adults were obese in 2005, and it projects that by 2015, that number will grow to 700 million. That is more than one in 10 around the world. Not surprisingly, surgery to combat obesity then has also increased around the world, not just in the UK. In the US, where a third of Americans are estimated to be morbidly obese, and that is a word, uh, weight loss surgery has increased sixfold. Well, the rate was even higher in Australia, which went from 400 procedures in 1994, for example, to almost 4,000 10 years later. But is this the answer? Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Martin McCaria, a surgeon at John Hopkins University in Washington. It'll be a question that many people are asking, uh, because surely, firstly, one should be concentrating on dealing with the problem, not dealing with how to cure it. It is sort of a primitive, last-ditch solution. It's not the, a preventive strategy, and it's not going to work for everybody. But what we're seeing is that if somebody does not have the operation, mm. they live on average 10 years shorter, and they uh, have a number of long-term health problems which, on a global level, are, threaten to burden health systems around the world. Isn't this a bit like we used to talk about lawyers being ambulance chasers? Now, the surgeons are being, well, we're chasing uh, whatever it is that we are doing wrong these days and charging for it, not just pu privately, but public health sector as well. There'll be a lot of people watching this saying, I don't want to pay for somebody else to have eaten too much. It is a mammoth problem around the world. If we look at the root cause, we are seeing parallels in the rise of obesity similar to the growth of processed food, the Western diet, mm -hmm. and the Western food culture growth around the world. That is, the foods that are high in uh, fat, salt, and sugar, high in calories, and have large portions, the supersize portions, mm -hmm. and, you know, the, as we have here, the Wendy's triple baconator, a sandwich <laughs> which in public health we call that a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah. Let me ask you, um, can you give me a profile of a classic patient? Well, most patients struggle with diets. They are often told that they need to exercise when in fact weight loss is probably more three or four parts diet and one part exercise. 97% mm. of people who try to lose weight with a diet are unsuccessful and that's why the surgery is an option they turn to frequently. Is this an option that they turn to frequently only in the developed world or is this becoming more um, regular in uh, the developing world as well? It's really in the developed world where we are seeing this grow like crazy. We're seeing uh, surgeons and hospitals set up centers where they're doing sometimes 10 or 20 of these operations every week. So it's a huge growth area in world medicine, partly because we don't know what to do about the obesity epidemic. Right. We call it in public health the new tobacco. All right, let me ask you this. And how much does an average operation cost? about 30,000 US dollars. Now we have found in our research that the annual health care costs go down about $10,000 for the person that has this done because the diabetes, sleep apnea, high blood pressure oftentimes go away after the operation. Well, so the numbers when you do the math it's actually cheaper to do these operations even in, even in the public health sector uh, than it is to actually have to treat people who have problems of obesity and diabetes, yeah? And that's why, Becky, many people are adopting this in, in mm. healthcare systems around the world, regulators, governments, they're seeing the cost savings. Final question to you, uh, what are the after effects? Well, there have been studies that shown at five and 10 years, if you don't keep that discipline, 40 or 50% of the people can regain most or all that weight. There's a 1% death rate from the surgery. It can range as low as 0.2% to 2%. Mm. Uh, but there, you need to take vitamins every day for the rest of your life, and there are things to watch out for. We do appreciate your time this Friday out of Washington. We thank you very much indeed for joining us. Fascinating stuff.